In 2014, we launched Neuroscience 20, which includes brain, mental health, and spine, in order to look at the cost of neurological disorders to the world economy. Therefore, uh, under the Neuroscience 20, we have regional initiatives, which brings uh, scientists of different background, computer scientists, uh, neurosurgeons, neurologists, psychiatrists, uh, spine surgeons, and, and, and psychologists together in order to uh, cross-pollinate ideas, look at the top costly neurological disorders, and see what technology we can bring to market to be able to reduce that cost and provide the access to, to patients, which could actually reduce also the, uh, not only the financial burden, but also the health burden on the population. In terms of promoting these at the world stage and bringing the G20 leadership to appreciate the importance of funding. The cost of neurological disorders to the U.S. economy is about $1.5 trillion per year. Its importance also comes in integrating not only uh, different hospitals, different entities, different institutions, but we also bring different countries to collaborate. We try to extend our brain uh, uh, initiative into uh, not only the United States, but uh, throughout the world. That's including uh, G20 uh, countries and beyond. We have created now the Middle East Brain Initiative. We participate in the second SBMT G20 meeting here in Istanbul. We have also created Asia Pacific Brain Initiative. We are delighted to collaborate with uh, University of Alenga and uh, Professor Azra and uh, further uh, advanced neuroscience and neurotech innovation in uh, not only in uh, Indonesia, Asia Pacific, but also globally. And also we have created the uh, Latin America LA Brain Initiative. SBMT will be involved in assisting with research and collaboration. And talk to the policymakers that they look at technologies and innovations and uh, fast track therapeutics, but also provide access to care. I was very much impressed by this meeting, which is a little bit unusual scientific meeting, because we had have a wonderful opportunity to talk not only with our scientific colleagues, but also with people from the completely different areas. We are incorporating the necessities many countries have, many uh, sciences have, and we are putting them at their service by going there and actually uh, creating what we call the uh, resolutions at the end of the summit.